فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Just today I got a message of someone who wanted to be with us this evening but their family members blocked them and stopped them because they said no way you are not going to go to those Muslimin, may Allah protect us, and these people are non-Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand that the gift we are upon is such that if they knew the goodness we are on, they would be here first. You know, when I was in Hajj in 1996, there was a fire in Arafah. Sorry, in Mina, there was a fire. And the tents were being burnt. And I was passing in the morning and I heard one of the policemen on their walkie-talkies, on their little radio systems, being instructed to empty out the whole of Mina. And I was shocked. And this policeman was asking a question, are you sure? And the instruction was coming from the top to say, empty out the whole of Mina. And I happened to hear this, so I went back into my tent. And I told the people that, look, I heard an instruction, empty out the whole of Mina because the fire has started on one end and the wind is blowing and the gas canisters are bursting and it's coming very fast up to the top. So I remember clearly there was a man who said, he's talking nonsense, make dua, Allah is the greatest, the fire will not come here. Did you hear that? So I got up with respect and I was still a young person, student, and I said, you know, we make dua, but with the dua, we need to walk out as well. <laughs> really. I cannot insult Allah to say, Allah, I, I'm doing dua, help me. You know, today we have a beautiful venue. There was a big effort put into this. I'm sure the brothers did not just sit and say, Ya Allah, let it happen. Ya Allah, let the light come. Yeah. But we say, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Ya Allah, give us the courage, the power, the ability, and so on, and accept it from us. Then we start in the name of Allah. And that is the achievement. So later on, I decided to create a little flag. We put up a pole and a piece of cloth at the top for the people of the tent to know that we are walking in this direction because we were belonging to one tent and we are walking towards Makkah or at least towards Aziziyah, which is just outside Mina. And you know what happened? About one hour later, the same man who was telling everyone to sit and relax and read dua, I saw him in front of me. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, Subhanallah, he understood the value of the statement I made. Now the reason why I am saying this is, there are people sometimes who don't know the value of the deen of Islam, but had they known it, they would compete with you regarding the deen. They would be in tahajjud before you, and they would probably be in fajr and read a better salah than all of yours put together. This is why I say, do not underestimate the gift of Allah. There are people out there who will catch us on the day of judgment and say, I interacted with you all your life. Why didn't you introduce me to Allah? So it's our duty from the very beginning. Balligu anni walau ayah. Convey from me. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, even if it means a single verse, convey it. Give it to others. In what way? Give it to them through your actions and through your words. Through your character and through your words. So one is to say Islam teaches this, Islam teaches that, and Islam is so good, and Islam teaches good character. But more important than that, is to live by it so that people look at you and they say, wow, this is what you get as a Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. Really, may he grant us all contentment that we are searching for. May he make us go back to the basics, the basics. So one of the first points that I am mentioning is, how strong are you with your salah? If you are strong with your prayer, the rest of your deen will fall into place by the will of Allah. But if you are weak with your prayer, what do you expect? The main point, everywhere you look in the Quran, So many places in the Quran, Allah says, 
establish your prayer give alms to the poor find yourselves praying with those who are praying bowing prostrating with those who are bowing prostrating and so on so many different places in the quran the issue of salah so important whereas when we don't read it what happens we want to call ourselves good muslim i'm a good muslim inshallah you know alhamdulillah i dress in this way i say salamu alaikum when i see people is that what islam is i just say salamu alaikum do you know the term salamu alaikum assalamu alaikum means may peace be upon you in other words i will not harm you to start with and i pray that there is peace upon you from every other direction there you are but the hypocritical behavior of today as you and i know it salamu alaikum salamu alaikum and as soon as they move mm, that sister you know that woman dangerous poisonous watch out watch out 